Hello everyone. Welcome back to our channel, The Two Roaming Souls. I'm Jake. And I'm Emily. And we have been living in our camper van for over two years now. And this week we're headed to Twin Lakes, Colorado. Uh, it's a beautiful area that we have never been to. And the weather is getting a little colder, but the aspen trees are starting to bloom, which is our favorite time of year to be in Colorado. They're like a fiery yellow and orange color. Perfect setting for some hiking and camping. So let's go. So we're trying to explore our home state again, but whenever we find these cool campsites, it's so hard to get in between some of the trees with how wide our van is and where our like, solar panel is. So we're having a tough time getting between these trees. For example, these two trees might be a bit of a problem. We gotta tuck the mirrors in, but hopefully she fits. Sometimes getting to the campsite is half the adventure. It makes me so nervous. But once we saw how beautiful the spot was, we were like, we, we can make it out there. And there's cell phone service, which we yeah. love because we were trying to run our business from the road. Yeah, and the leaves are really like starting to pop, which is gorgeous. Oh yeah. But I'm starving, I'm gonna start making dinner. Yes, All right. please. <laughs> All right, so for dinner, uh, we were craving something kind of like fall themed so we got sweet potatoes red lentil rotini we're gonna do an alfredo or garlic alfredo mushrooms spinach kidney beans and then to get a little crazy we're gonna add some cinnamon and cayenne pepper see how it works cayenne let's go light <laughs> so much garlic How did I do? The cinnamon adds a nice fall vibe. I like it. It's delicious. We wanted to do butternut squash, but I think everyone else had the same <laughs> fall vibes idea because they are sold out. <laughs> so sweet potato will have to substitute. For the YouTube video, we add like a human normal amount of Parmesan, <laughs> but in actuality, we load it up after. Yeah, I already like added a ton, but time for round two. For... <laughs> <laughs> it's all melted in there. Usually two or three rounds of Parmesan gets you through a meal. <laughs> and now, enjoy dinner with a view. That's what it's all about. Fall in Colorado is interesting because it's like 70 during the day and then it gets down to like 35 at night we're trying to decide if we want to have a campfire or not because you know there's basically been fire bans all summer long and so we've only had a, a handful of them when we were allowed to at the beginning of the summer so we're thinking about having another one but you basically have a fire and you're like sitting outside kind of freezing it'd be warmer if we just sat in the van so i don't know Today's kind of a, a chill day for us since we have service. We're gonna try to get some work done on blog posts and stuff. 
Um, but you can't argue with this office view. But you can argue with the ants trying to crawl up our leg every five seconds. I know, that's annoying. Not great for productivity. <laughs> Good morning, everyone. We're gonna go hiking today. And I'm just trying to scout our drive out of here. That way in with the tight trees wasn't that fun. But this other route over here <laughs> also doesn't look very fun or easy. It's just steep and has like giant rocks and, and ditches. I think we're going through the tight trees again. Emily's not going to like going up that hill. Good morning. All right, we're gonna head out and do North Fork Lake. It's a, a cool lake hike on Independence Pass. What? First adventure, tackling the road again. Yeah, we made it in, so we should make it out. Yeah, it shouldn't be too bad. That is by far the tightest window we've ever driven this van through. Yikes. It was basically not even an inch to spare on both sides. Yeah. But good co-piloting. <laughs> All right. Let's go hiking. <laughs> in typical Jake and Emily fashion, it takes us usually about an hour to get ready to go hiking, even though we do it all the time. But that's because we have the van at the trailhead, so in some way we're not even out of the house yet by the time we get to the trailhead. But here we go. Again, is a humbling experience. Really makes you feel like you're out of shape. When technically you're not really. We felt like we were in such good shape all summer being in Oregon. In Washington, we were absolutely sending it up the trails. But the elevation of the mountains in Colorado, it's next level. Whew. We're not even like a mile in, I'm hopping and popping. Whew. Yeah, I'm hopping and popping. <laughs> We just started. So one nice thing about a quiet trail is there's no people, so you can take it at your own pace. The negative though is you're the trailblazer, so you're hitting all the spider webs. <laughs> And I'm in front. Thanks, Emily. <laughs>
climb. I've come from all the way down there. Climbing all the way up. Then we have to cross this like mountain pass. Woo. This is really awesome up here. Love when basically nobody else is on the trail. Yeah, one person just showed up right now and we're like getting ready to go. <laughs> yeah, but it's beautiful out here. Thanks for coming along on another Two Roaming Souls adventure. I think you can see why we love visiting Colorado in September. Yeah, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel so you don't miss any more of our future videos. And I think we're gonna go take an outdoor shower because we're snowy. Yeah, <laughs> and the tube just broke and drip water all over me. Fan <laughs> life problems, I guess. <laughs>